From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. We have breaking news from Wall Street, the Federal Reserve, and Capitol Hill about the CR for stimulus 1.0. The spending bill, brand new breaking news happening today on Afternoons. And then we have new details about what the Federal Reserve is likely to do next week because those labor numbers I told you were coming in on Friday came in. And boy, they were robust. So where's inflation going? I have all the breaking news that impacts your money. Build Back Better Act is going to get passed. Has thousands of dollars of checks with you. Adult dependent checks. Adult checks. Automatic checks all in heading out in that incredible recon. But CR for Stimulus has the opportunity to get you monies before that as well. We'll be looking at all those incredible sums of money, CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. We'll be cutting back to Ukraine and the situation unfolding as the capital of Ukraine could fall by the weekend. As no less than 3,000 Russian troops have died. The biggest fatalities of Russian troops in modern era, as Ukraine may still stand but may also fall by the end of the weekend. We have breaking news today coming in from the Federal Reserve as the inflation gauge number came in and boy was it robust. 5.2%, the sec second biggest annual gain since 1983. I'll have the latest details on that. Then I'll be looking at where oil is holding and they're hoping to keep it at about $100 a gallon, a barrel. This is amid the taking off of all the Ukrainian and Russian pipelines and barrels right now. But oil could spike to 130 next week. What would happen if that happens? I have the latest breaking news. It's brand new. Then we have new viewers who got big sums of money for rent and utilities in the last 24 hours. I'm excited for you. Stay to the very end. I'm going to show you how to get $45,000. We have new updated details about how to get third stimulus. It's brand new. We have a lot of breaking news today, folks. And I told you it was going to be one of those weeks. And it's going to also be one of these weekends. We have breaking news about the Fed's inflationary gauge of 5.2%. That signals where the Fed spike may come next week. We have the oil prices that may relieve pressure at the pump for now. But what's after that? We have the CR for stimulus major update and we have viewers getting big monies from third stimulus it's a big day and we're just getting started and the excitement is right here with the biggest financial news you're going to see across the globe it's ally light direct from santa monica but with all the coverage you need worldwide starting right now Good afternoon, everybody. The breaking news from um, Ukraine and Russia is that Russian troops have fallen nearly 3,000, the biggest fatalities that Russia has ever endured since the Cold War. And Ukraine may still hold, but by the end of the weekend, we'll see whether the capital of Ukraine may fall. Vladimir Putin's pro, uh, uh, attention span right now is to put in a puppet government into Ukraine if he can capture the country by the weekend. This is all impacting your wallet and your price at the pump. I'll have the latest financial details on that and Ukraine later in this recording, but I'm going to go right into the Build Back Better Act for Stimulus Recon and the big money. We have breaking details about the CR for Stimulus 1.0. I told you Friday was going to be a big day with the labor numbers that came in that impacts what the Federal Reserve is doing next week for those interest rates. Remember, I told you in October of last year that this year we're going to be looking at the items that impact your money, and they are the federal interest rates and also the big events of Ukraine and Russia, because stimulus will come to you, but the amount is dependent upon those factors. And we have all that incredible breaking news with these automatic adult checks still wanting to go out from Joseph Biden, your president of the United States, but the opportunity to get a check out there before it under a CR for stimulus approach. But first, I want you to pause the incredible family. Go under this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel, Chasing to Number Two. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends and family, come on over because you're going to see the breadth of coverage about how to learn about 
and make money from the financial instruments you need to know. Like this video, become a member, and it's time for that membership right day today. So you get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Light alert system. We're going to start first by friends with Build Back Better Act, the Four Symbols Recon. Then go into CR for Symbols 1, 2, 3, and 4.0, breaking news. SS300, SS400, coming up later in this video. But first, let's start with this big Build Back Better. Build Back Better will get passed. It's in the Senate, sent from the House, with three clusters and three add-ons. Let's look at each of them starting right now. It will get passed despite all the events that are unfolding across the globe. Hazard pay is in that first cluster, and $4,000 is elder care. Hazard pay is for my essential workers. One more year, earned income tax credit. Learn about it at irs.gov. $4,000 of elder care, got it in there. $4,000 to care for young children, got it in there. $550 checks for my Pell Grant recipients. And then money to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. They got in there the $12,500 as well to purchase of a new electric vehicle. It's incredible. Now, there are three clusters of checks in this incredible recon and three add-ons of checks. That first add-on comes from here in Southern California. It's one of the best provisions we've ever seen in the history of this channel. And it is $25,000. It is money for the purchase of your first home. Got it in there from Maxine Waters. And that is money given from the federal government to the seller at the time of escrow in your name for the close of your first home. Isn't that incredible? It really, really is. Now let's turn to the second of three clauses of checks in this incredible Build Back Better Act, which is where we're starting off in this video at, folks. And that second cluster check checks has in there the incredible home repairs if you live in if you need to weatherize your home and paid leave home repairs weatherize your home that is if your neighbor moves in is wearing lobster shorts in the front yard oh my goodness uh put up a a hedge right away <laughs> <laughs> and paid leave. If you go to work and the senator's office where you work at, he showed up wearing lobster shorts again. Yeah, it's awful. At least default to bacon shorts, as one viewer said yesterday. <laughs> I love that. Bacon shorts. Yeah, just bring an extra pair of bacon shorts. Tell them to switch their wardrobe quickly. Uh, how much is this paid leave? It's a lot, folks. It is $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. It is $800 a week if you make $35,000. If you make $15,000 annual salary, it's $400 a week. W-2, 1099, you all get it. It's huge. It's four to $6,000 a year. Now, if you don't work, but your son or daughter does work and have to take off from work once a week to take you to the doctor's office, they're going to get the check for the household. There you go. That is the second of three clusters of checks in this Build Back Better Act. You see how much amazing money is in this Build Back Better Act? It's incredible. We're just getting started, but now it's time for that second add-on. And this is huge. Can you imagine that millions of Americans do not have a free home health care? Well, it was a campaign promise and it got in there. It's now put in there, a little bit less than 250, and is free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Got it in there. That is the second add on. And now let's go into that third cluster of three clusters of checks in the Build Back Better Act. It is where we find a true deliciousness. <laughs> Lord, it is just deliciousness. Can you say it with, a, with an H? It has an H in there. Deliciousness. <laughs> seniors and free internet. Wow. Now, there is some free internet right, right now. If you need that internet free at home, reach out to the volunteers on the community page coming up at the commercial break. But this is more free internet across the globe, across the United States. They got in there checks for farmers, checks for independent contractors, free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, and then seniors. Two checks on the House, three coming on the Senate side. On the House side, they got in there the... Medicaid gap fix, more about that second. And also they got in there the incredible hearing aid checks, but the senators vowed to add in their dental vision and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is part for the course when we're talking about adding checks to this recon. The senators vowed to add a lot of checks and what are those other checks? Right in the live chat, it starts with an M. I think you know what it is. It's MSC. These are automatic adult stimulus checks. The children get the CTC check. They're not left out. But these are adult automatic stimulus checks. Andrew Bates, the president's spokesperson, says he wants every check of this Build Back Better Act to go out as soon as possible. And these are checks that the Senate has vowed to add in there. Tens of thousands of viewers have been told since the month of May of last year it's going in there, and it will happen. Give yourself some patience, folks. This is Congress. They do care. It takes time. There's a lot of people that have to agree upon a lot of different things. So let's go over what these MSCs stand for. The Build Back Better Act has $40,000, $60,000 of many checks in there. Lots and lots of checks in that Build Back Better Act are in there for you. But these MSCs are automatic 
IRS sent out stimulus checks. Who would get them? The legislators represent to the viewership of this channel that the eligibility would be the same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less annual income, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you get it. Family of four, you get it. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, you get it as well. Adult dependents also get it. And a family of two, you get it as well, of course. Double it. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's offered nationwide, not state-by-state -state basis. And this is many of several checks added to the recon. That is for low-income, middle-class people. If you make less than 75000 a person, you are getting money, lots of money in this Bill Back Better. If you make 150000 as a couple or less, you're getting big sums of money. If you make you know $400,000 a year as a single individual, this is likely not a package for you. So uh, some people were asking yesterday, what, what income classes qualify for these checks across Build Back Better, including MSC? That was a great question. It's generally the same thing we've always talked about, $75,000 less annual income, single individual or less, married a couple, $150,000 or less. One viewer two days ago, which I'm never going to stop letting this go away, said my fiancé says you have to pay back all these checks. My response is no. Give back the fiancé's engagement ring. <laughs> <laughs> Give back the fiance's engagement ring because he does not know what he's talking about. <laughs> now, when we talk about MSC, they want to do $2,000 a month after the first month of $1,000. And there we rock and roll for up to six months. The legislators would add this on the Senate side in those Senate subcommittees, then have a Senate bill, then call the Senate bill for a vote on the Senate floor. And then we have a two-day Votorama, and then we're ready to rock and roll. But they haven't done it. So four weeks ago, I brought back on this channel on a Saturday morning, CR for Stimulus. Knew this channel? We're watching back in 2020. Let me tell you what happened. We made history. I made history. In 2020, we had seen the first stimulus package passed, and we needed more money. We had heard about a second stimulus in the works, saw the negotiations continue month after month. 11 months of negotiations, nothing happened. So I thought to myself, I need a solution. And it was CR for stimulus. The idea at the time was the following. We wanted something, I wanted something that was bipartisan, that was a bill, just a few hundred pages in length, not this monolith of several thousands of pages of a, of a reek of, of a massive package. And I want something that had an inherent deadline, because we had seen 11 months of negotiation between Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin at the time that went on with no inherent deadline. So I made the idea I came up with the creation and I made the first recording. And I said in December 2020, the following statement. I said, hey, everybody, it's LA. Good morning, everybody. And it's December 2020. And we've been sitting back for 11 months and watching the second stimulus negotiations unravel. No deal, no bill, no vote. Just want something faster, sooner, and quicker that has bipartisan small pieces of paper <laughs> and, and, has, and has an inherent deadline. And viewers said, yes, what is it? I called it. C-R for stimulus. If you're in the live chat right now, post the hashtag campaign. The rest is history if you've been watching on the channel recent days. I made history. The viewership of this channel made history. C-R for stimulus happened. The concept was very simple. Insert a stimulus check into the continuing resolution that had a deadline then of December 2020. We got it in there. And the $600 check went to millions of Americans. It was my idea, my creation. I made history in the viewership of this channel. The Purple Power community, you all should be proud because you made history. It got in there. Everyone said it would never go in. It doesn't belong in there. It's money for the federal government. I said, I don't care. You put it in there. You've inserted stuff in there before that doesn't belong in there. Set it out. Thank goodness we did. Because <laughs> second symbols never became a law. Second symbols fell apart. Never had a bill, never had a check, never had anything. You got a $600 stimulus check because of my creation. Now, let's go back to four weeks ago on this channel. We had seen 11 months of negotiations, Joe and Joe, Joe Biden, Joe Manchin. No deal on four stimulus, what we're just going all over right here. I said, let's get a check into something else first, foremost, easier with the same concept. See, our first stimulus, we want to do it. Viewers said, oh boy, we want to do it. And so here we are right today. I have breaking news about the CR for Stimulus 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. What's going on here? We have the original version, CR for Stimulus 
which has a continuing resolution now with its inherent deadline of early March, just a few days away. I have a lot of breaking news that compounds on top of the breaking news from yesterday, because we had a lot yesterday about it, but we got more about it today. And I got to tell you, it's good news. Um, Leahy is really watching your back on this one. So he is um, the guy that oversees the numbers on this. We have that breaking news coming up at the commercial break. It is $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds inserted in that CR. That's enough for a stimulus check for us, folks. That is good. Then we'll go over to CR for stimulus 2 and 3, the latest updates on that. The 4.0, which is actually, I'm going to push it over to near the 1.0 update because Leahy has a good point about this, and so does Wyden. Wyden has a really good point about it. Um, don't impact 1.0 with 4.0. Good point. I'm going to get to explain what's going on. Then we're going to go to the SS300. You're on benefits, are you? SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and you want more money per month. You were promised it two years ago. It didn't happen. Well, I'm going to show you how the president can do it right today. $300 more per month by December, but $200 more per month starting right today. And we're going to see that, in, and I'm going to tee it up with the breaking news about what I told you was going to happen today. It's brand new. The Fed's favorite inflationary gauge number came in minutes ago. And this shows where your benefits would go. This shows where inflation is heading. I have all this breaking news. It also shows you where the Fed interest rate spikes, the five potential spikes this year, quarter basis, half basis, which one is it? I have all the breaking news on that in just a minute after commercial breaks. And then one of the biggest topics on this channel, the price of oil and gas also impacts your wallet, also impacts inflation. We have new data today about whether oil will spike to $130 a crude Brent, uh, Brent crude. He's just very crude. <laughs> He needs his own personality on this channel, doesn't he? Yeah, he needs his own channel. Brent crude, uh, it's heading potentially to 130, but will it stay down near 94, which is the president's hope? I have all the breaking news on that. It's coming after the commercial breaks, folks. I told you this is a big show tonight. All this and more. But first, here's a little bit about the community page, and I have brand new details about how to get big money from Third Stimulus. Oh, it's very exciting. It's after the commercial break, and I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons L8 as, as we go into the big second half with the breaking details about what CR for Stimulus 1.0 is doing right now. And will 4.0 stay away from it or merge with it? It's brand new details on this afternoon's reporting. Then we'll be looking at SS300, the latest details on what happened with that Federal Reserve and that labor number that came in minutes ago, and the price of Brent crude. What a big second half we have, folks. But at first, I want you to borrow this family. Go under this video right now and subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America. I want you to bring us to number two. We're on our way. Hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends and family, come on over. Become a member of this channel. Get that incredible newsletter. Because in a second, I'm going to show you the viewers who've gotten big sums of money. Average viewer of this channel has gotten four $45,000 from third stimulus. Have you gotten it? If you haven't, you need to become a member. Sign up for those LA alerts, which is also under the video's description.
stay the very end. I have new details on that as well. Let's go over what's going on with CR for Stimulus 1.0 and 4.0 right now. The great news is that when we talk about 1.0, it is still intact exactly how it was yesterday. And yesterday we saw a lot of people trying to come for the provisions, the money, the funds that could be for you, for themselves. And Leahy had your back. Oh boy, Patrick, thank you. Patrick Leahy, the Senate Democrat from Vermont. And I told you almost two weeks ago that you really wanted to advocate to Leahy, Schumer, Casey Coons, and all the other ones saying, listen, you've done a really good job on this CR. It's a continuing resolution, an errant deadline early March. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds have been put in there to be spent at the discretion of U.S. cabinet members of Joseph Biden. So you want them to spend the money on you. It's enough for at least one similar check. Viewers of this channel, The Purple Power, have been doing a great job on social media, including Princess on Twitter with beautiful emojis. Tell them, the legislators, to spend the money on you. It's $1.5 trillion, folks. That is more than enough for at least a $2,000 similar check. Spend the money on you and don't succumb to pressures from the outside. So far, your efforts have worked, because I have the latest details on that in just a second. They're not spending the money on anyone else. It's brand new breaking news today. But I want you to really advocate to them. It's $1.5 trillion of discretionary spending. It's a bipartisan agreement, Republicans, Democrats, House and Senate. So we're good on the money in there. We just want to make sure that no one grabs our money. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> It's a problem, especially when people want to buy some lobster shorts. Uh, so <laughs> I had a live poll yesterday in the chat. I said, who do you think is trying to grab your money, Mitch or restaurants? And everyone chose Mitch. Uh, sorry, it was actually the restaurants were trying to choose to steal your money. So these are the people you want to advocate to to ensure that they spend the money to you. Well, let me go over the latest details on what is going on with that funding bill today. If you missed yesterday's recording, I'm going to give you a short update on what was unfolding yesterday. Yesterday, when I was telling you to advocate to these people, we had a series of special interests and even the White House trying to take some of your money and use it on themselves. The White House was trying to spend part of the funding bill, the CR, on... Uh, vaccine and testing issues for COVID. Even after the White, the White House has got the $6 trillion of that over recent uh, months. So Leahy said no then. He still said no today. Who's Leahy, by the way? He's the Senate Appropriations Chair. And he said, no, I'm not, I'm not spending any more money. I've taken a long time to get to the point at which we are, he said yesterday. Then we had the restaurant union. I, I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not joking. This is not a group of people that I like. I've been very keen about my dis dislike of them. They were trying to grab some of your money as well. Well, Republicans didn't want to give them the money. Democrats didn't want to give them the money. And no one wanted to give the White House any more sums of money. So let me go over the latest details on Leahy, the, the CR, and also CR for stimulus 4.0. Remember, CR for Stimulus 1.0, which oh, which is we're going over right now, is the is the uh, the spending bill it has the early March deadline. The CR for Stimulus 4.0 is the Russian sanctions bill, which for strange reasons has never been called for a vote in the Senate. Doesn't look really good. I got to tell you, doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. I, I could make 30 minutes on that. I'm not going to go into a whole commentary about it, but it, has, it doesn't look good. So what is a great idea being done by Leahy and also by um, uh, House Intelligence Chair Adam Schiff, who is on the House, he's on the Senate. And we also have um, some good quotes come out from Ron Wyden on the Senate side. They say that Congress wants to spend more money to help the Ukrainian military uh, battle Russia, obviously. Uh, you, you send them the, you know, this is just, I got a comment just for a second. This is buffoonery. You send them the stuff before the war starts in Ukraine. You don't send them after the fact. The capital may fall by the end of the weekend and we don't even have, we don't even have a bill written. I mean, this is just, this is idiocy, um, folks, when we talk about Congress so slow on something so simple as this. But at least um, as t in terms of our money, they're doing something right. They are now saying, Leahy, we're not going to touch the CR 1.0. We're not going to grow it up, blow it. We're not going to increase it to include Ukraine stuff. We'll do that as something separate. That's what Wyden is talking about. That's what Shift is talking about. Yeah, well, you had that all last week and the last two weeks before that. 
with Republicans supporting Democrats. We had, and I've covered it enough, that CR for Stimulus 4.0. I don't know what they're doing, but they're keeping CR for Stimulus 4.0 away from 1.0. You don't want them to interfere with 1.0 because it would roll the deadline over. It would make 1.0. They'd try to tra take potentially out some of the money from 1.0. That could be for you, for Ukraine. You just don't want that. So they're doing that good. They're just not doing good for Ukraine. Uh, and the Congress is not taking care of Ukraine. Oh, they're not taking care of anyone at the moment. Uh, no, <laughs> they're just, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, let's come back to CR for Stimulus 2 and 3.0. So CR for Stimulus 2 and 3.0 are merged in the Senate. The House Democrats understood that the Build Back Better Act should be done, and they wanted that to get done, but it's been dragging out. So led by um, uh, the representatives here in California, uh, Pete Aguilar, they passed the first of many pieces, plural, of legislation sent to the Senate, where Senate Republicans say, good, we're merging with what we got, and we're going to get it done and sent out the door. So you offer Stimulus 2 and 3.0 merging in the Senate. That's good for us. Then let's go over to where we are then on SS 300, and I'll be cutting back to Build Back Better Act in just a second, and also the CRs. SS 300, which tees up my ability to get into the economic news for you as well, is huge today. When you were watching this channel in 2020, you heard of Liz Warren running for president and for the Democratic nominee, promising $200 additional per month if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, more. Joe Biden took over her campaign promise after she withdrew and said, I like it, I'll do it. He won the general election. Then he put in his transition papers published at JoeBiden.com and again, didn't deliver it. So all last year I talked about SS. 200 going by the stimulus a, another recon in which the senators say you know joe didn't take care of it we'll take care of it for you well that has struggled as well so three weeks ago i brought back on this channel the opportunity for joe biden to do ss 200 right today how do you do it replace colo with inflation you do not enact to congress all you need is a phone call and then if you did it within 24 hours then your benefits will go up 200 a month instantly lifetime then, based upon where inflation numbers are going by December, you get another $100, that's SS300. And then where inflation is likely to be in two years from now, another you know $40 more per month, that's about SS400. Now, let me go over the new inflationary numbers, which helps us for the SS300 analysis. You know why? Because we're trying to determine how much your benefits are going up. That's part of the numbers calculation. How much are your benefits going to go up when they switch from COLA to inflation by doing this? It was last year when the Federal Reserve said that inflation would be temporary in December 2021 and would have an inflationary rate of about 1% to 2%. I said wrong. <laughs> I said 8%. And I said it's not going to be temporary. Well, Jay Powell's wrong. Wall Street at the time said 2 to 3% and temporary. One month. I said wrong. I said 8%. And I said several months. I was right in December when the numbers came in a month later, as they always do. 7.5% was the inflationary rate. Means you'll get about an extra $200 a month if they do this swap from COLA to inflation for you. But we also wanted to know if inflation was going to stay at that level or fall back down the month of uh, January, or at least this month of February, by the time in which Biden could possibly swap this out. I said it was not going to fall down. I said inflation is not going away. As we see inflation out of control at 11, 12% of Florida, Texas, California, a lot of places, it's much worse than even that. Well, guess what? The new breaking news coming in overnight, and I have it for you. I told you Friday was going to be a big day. And these are the new inflationary numbers. And these are big because this is what the Federal Reserve uses to gauge its interest rate spikes, which I'm going to get to in a second, came in astronomically high. The Fed's favorite inflationary gauge came in 5.2% is the largest number we've seen since 1983 in the United States. It's huge. Consumer spending popped 2.1% more than a 1.6% estimate. Orders for durable goods went up 1.6 or double the expectation. Um, food and energy prices were the highest, 6.1%, the highest gain since 1982. And PCE um, grow, grew highly as well. Um, personal income was flat for that month, um, but better than, uh, than as badly expected. 
policymakers based upon that news basically say the following. Here's Paul Ashkaroff, chief U.S. economist at Capital Economics minutes ago. The overall economy is supposed to be stronger health than we fear, suggesting that the planned hike rates in March um, makes a 50 basis point less likely uh, because of Ukraine. All right, let, let me get to that in a second. So what are we looking at right now? One, inflation did not go down last month. I mean, it, you already knew this. I trained you how to do this. I taught you how to do this. I said, watch the milk and the eggs. If you buy the same prod, the same brand in the same market, the same quantity, if it's going up 10 cents, 20 cents in, in a four-week time, you see the inflation before I even report it to you in a month later. So inflation's higher. That means that the good news for my viewers that are watching, that are trying to get Biden to swap cola for inflation, you're still going to see that 8%. You may even see 9% because remember the PPI number I delivered to you uh, three weeks ago was 9.1%. And we still don't have the inflationary number, the true inflation number. These are engage inflation gauge numbers. That's not This is not a real pure inflation number. So that means you would go up at least $200 a month and guess where inflation is going to go by December. At the moment we're looking at the 4%, I mean, goodness, imagine it's 5%. That would mean 4 plus eight that means about 300 dollars more per month by january 2022 2023 uh but if inflation goes even higher i mean five percent i mean i i don't know what could happen but that would be even more money for you across the board the president can also repurpose sums of money and this is again not by executive order i covered this a lot in recent days i don't want to go over today too much because we have a lot of other breaking news but he can repurpose money from existing programs like COVID relief programs that have ended and the money is still there all it requires is a phone call just like when we're talking about we're swapping out cola with inflation all he does is pick up the phone and contact social security administrator he put that person in Tell them, replace COLA with inflation. Joe Biden, you told Americans, you wrote in your transition papers that millions of Americans were in desperate need of $200 more per month, and you wrote that in December 2020. At that time, the inflation rate was not 8 9 10%, 12% right now in several parts of the country. People are hurting more than ever because while consumer spending may be going up, they are making less money, and the products are uh, going up. And that is before we have the brand new details today about uh, what is going on with price of oil. Now, price of oil is very important when we go back into for stimulus recon, Build Back Better Act. Why? Build Back Better Act is a lot more checks. You know that, folks. It's $60,000 of checks to my viewers, middle class, uh, low income class individuals. And it's to deal with bills. And guess what? One of the biggest bills that always determines our economy is how much you pay for gasoline at the pump. doesn't matter if you don't drive. It's even if you buy products because the products have to get to you from a truck driver and he has to put gasoline in that truck. Well, the issue right now is that we're looking at brand new breaking news overnight that was really good, but also troubling news or conf conflicting news today. Brent crude or crude Brent. <laughs> Sounds like call it a counter calling, doesn't it? He needs his own emoji. Uh, the president is trying to keep Brent crude, which is the price of barrels of gasoline. This is not something you're buying. It's something uh, the wholesaler buys. He wants to try to keep it at about $93. He's going to be releasing this week, potentially by, by the end of today, more barrels of gasoline in the strategic reserves of the federal government. The federal government buys extra gasoline, keeps it in the storage room behind Mitch's lobster shorts. <laughs> it's hidden there because no one's going to go looking for gasoline behind lobster shorts. They walk in, they see the lobster shorts, they run for it. <laughs> it's, the, it's better than security guards. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they hide the barrels of gasoline back there. And then whenever the price of gasoline gets too expensive, they release it into the supply chain. This brings us back to Russia and Ukraine. Why is Russia invading Ukraine? For gasoline and, and for aluminum and things like that. And the issue is that with now the sanctions against you, Russia, you're looking at uh, stock footage of Ukraine. This is not live imagery, but this shows you how beautiful this country of Ukraine really is. Um, with Russia now out of, the, out of the equation, then there are two issues when we're talking about gasoline. Where are we going to get our oil from? Well, we have some U.S. manufacturers. The White House had great news yesterday. As Joe Biden said, uh, U.S. manufacturers, I will criminally prosecute you if you try to now stick it to the American people by price gouging them because we have less oil 
in the, the pipeline because Ukraine and Russia are out of the equation. That was the great news. Second, he vowed to release some of the strategic reserves. He's trying to bring the number down to about 93. So let me give you the analysis right now. Analysts believe that if we stay at $100 a gallon barrel, which is where we are right now, we can sustain that for about six months if inflation does not get worse. Uh, inflation is not likely to go higher. They're saying not go higher, meaning it may prolong, but not get to a higher number. So that's going to work. But there is some new data out this morning that suggests maybe the Ukrainian Russia invasion, Ukrainian Russia situation may keep oil higher than one o than one thirty. Uh, yesterday, I told you that we can do one hundred dollars for six months right now for uh, crude barrel. For we can do it for six months if inflation does not get higher. But there's some worries that anything worse than that would not work. Yesterday, I told you that Diane Swamp, chief economist at Grant Thornton, says we cannot do one twenty five. We can't. People will lose their jobs. Unemployment will happen. We'll go into either a recession or stagflation. And now there's new reports today that says we may be heading to one thirty. I told you yesterday there was also great news that the Federal Reserve that the that the uh, the federal negotiators on behalf of Joe Biden may be reaching a nuclear nuclear arm agreement with Iran, uh, and that that nuclear arm agreement would get Iran's millions and millions of barrels of gasoline back into our system, which would bring the price down because we don't have Iranian oil because we've been sanctioning them over nuclear arms. But that deal is uh, it's about eight weeks out. So we need this opportunity to release those petroleum reserves into the system right away. A lot of details across the board. Now, when we go back into Build Back Better Act, I want to start with the best part of Build Back Better Act, which you don't have to wait for, folks. You've been watching this video. I appreciate all your kindness. I appreciate all your focus. But ultimately, I need to get your money. And I want to get your money every single day. And I want to congratulate the viewers of this channel who in the last two days have listened hard and long. What is this channel about? It's about getting you money day in, day out. It's not about tracking checks, but cashing checks. And I want to congratulate Brian Donahue, who overnight says, Family, you are all the hawks. Just scored a second round of rent for four more months. Thank you, Ally. So what is he saying? He got another round of rent. And he, while he doesn't give us the number, it's most people's rent is about you know, $1,200, $1,500 a month. He got four months, so that's likely five, dollars $6,000. Bob Bacon, you know him. Uh, you know him by the shorts. <laughs> I actually scored three more months of rent. Thank you, Ally. Wow. This comes on the heels of uh, just days before that, we had Karen Joseph, who got about $40,000 that week. She got $22,579 more for rent. $12,500 for SNAP, and $3,600 for utilities. And Nisi, who's gotten $30,000 plus already from this channel in the last year, got another $10,000 this week. Do you want to go into the weekend with more wands of cash in your hand? You do. You qualify. All of you qualify. So I've upgraded this part of the recording, and I want to go over more with you right now. This is third stimulus, which was repeated in fourth stimulus. Let's look at it together and understand where you get this money. We're going to get some rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and food and internet more. Get that pen and paper ready. Let's take notes. We're going to go over it right today. I want you to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage assistance because of COVID, utility assistance because of COVID. And you must reach out to all six places. You must put multiple applications on file, and you must do multiple rounds. Open that membership newsletter and follow along for more and rely on those nonprofits because those nonprofits provide additional sums of money. Even if you think your city, county, and state is out of funds, the average view of this channel has cleaned up really well. Average view of this channel has gotten $45,000 from third stimulus, rent, utilities, mortgage, this is more, from the first, second, third rounds or additional. Do it today. When we talk about this incredible sums of money in third stimulus, it's repeated in fourth stimulus. Now, I have a lot of viewers. I know your names by heart. I love you to death. And I also remember telling on air your success stories. When you got rent in, let's say, December, or you got rent last February, 
but I haven't seen your success stories lately and I see you in the live chat. So I wanna to be tough on you and make sure you're trying to get, get another round right now. You wanna get that round out as far as possible, May. Try to get it out as far as May, April, June. Remember, don't just rely upon one place. I have one viewer who's a long time viewer. He said he reached out to one place the other day and got a no. Mm -mm. No, no, remember Johnny's story? Johnny absolutely reached out to 15 places in one week. And by the end of the week, I got eight programs approved. He had started the week and gotten three programs approved in four days at 35,000. He was not happy with that. He kept on pushing. When you make the phone call, you have a 50% rejection rate, a 50% rejection rate. So get ready to be rejected. It's sort of like walking into a room wearing lobster shorts and someone's like, again? Yeah, so just <laughs> practice rejection. It's, it's not a bad thing. And you will be ready to rock and roll because you will get improved, approved for that money. Let's go back into the big money that is in Build Back Better Act that is in there. Remember, Build Back Better Act will get passed. Everything that's happening in Ukraine and Russia involves the president and the executive branch does not really involve the legislative branch. All the legislative branch does is give funds of uh, funding packages to, you know, uh, to, uh, to, to things like Ukraine. But Build Back Better Act will get passed. There is, let's look at those checks right now. You ready? Let's rock and roll. They will be raising from $10,000 to $72,000 of $500 of what you can deduct and see in local taxes. Cheaper prescription medication got in there as well. Raising it from 20 medications a day one to 30 by year 2028. Medicare Part B, D, C, and B and D, the most expensive, like cancer, arthritis, and diabetes. As cheap as $35 a month for an insulin dose, which is currently like $2,000. $40 billion of free job training got in there as well for millions of Americans who want to take a higher paying job across the board. They got the Medicaid gap fix. What was that thing I talked about before? 12 Republican states vowed to never provide uh, coverage. So now Democrats got a workaround plan that provide years of subsidized private insurance across the land. We went over the housing assistance. They got in there the $150 billion of free home health care for senior people on disabilities. They got in there the $12,500. This is for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. At the time of purchase, your purchase price would be deducted $12,500. Literally at the register, this is when it happens. It's not a refund check. It's at the register. And then the senators have all those other checks they vow to add in there, like dental, vision, hearing, Medicare, uh, dropping it from the eligibility age of 65 to 55. And of course, those MSCs. You want to advocate to Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer to ensure that they get that 150, excuse me, $1.5 trillion of funds in the CR for stimulus 1.0, which is just a few weeks away, dedicated to you and staying in there. Let's recap what's at issue. The first thing at issue right around the corner is early March, folks, just a few days away. The budget spending bill. There's currently $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds in there. You want to stay in there. That's the first thing you want. You don't want to go away. Poof, you don't want to go away. You want to stay in there. Number two, you want to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. This week, White House tried to, fail. Restaurant unions tried to. Their hands smelled like fish. <clears throat> yeah, get away, restaurant union. <laughs> and then, uh, Concerns about potentially taking some of that money for Ukraine, not happening. That is 4.0. So the money's staying there, but you want it to be spent on you. Let's be frank here, folks. The reason why you're seeing bipartisan support is because Republicans and Democrats understand the way to win the midterm elections is to give money to the American people. It looks exactly like CR for Stimulus 2020. That CR for Stimulus 2020 happened no less than 60 days before the two Senate seats in Georgia. Warnock and Ossoff, remember? They wanted to win those seats, so Democrats got a check in there. Republicans and Democrats want your vote, and they want to pick up seats and retain their seats, Senate and House, by getting you money. That is by fixing situations, not avoiding the situation. And with that, we have a lot of shows coming up today. We have a brand new Evenings LA at 5 o'clock, and then, we, of course, we have Evenings Countdown at 6, Evenings extra at eight and home stream stimulus at seven remember i will be on top of all the breaking news of what's happening in ukraine as it impacts your wallet at home situation is tense in ukraine i am wearing blue on a set with a yellow surfboard 
and uh, blue vases and blue graphics. I thought of wearing a yellow, t yellow tie as well, but I don't want to overdo it. But my thoughts and prayers are with the families of uh, those in Ukraine. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Ally Light, I am retweeting a lot of the official statements from the Ukrainian uh, government and the Ukrainian military. Under tweets, you can press a button and Google will translate the tweet. So if you see a foreign language and understand it, you just open the tweet and you press the button, it translates the tweet for you. So you can see the latest details across the board. Um, stay with me all weekend long. It's going to be a big weekend, folks. We do not know if uh, if the capital of Ukraine will fall or whether talk, uh, uh, offers of uh, 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 ceasefire and negotiations that have been floating around the last few hours sort of in the air, literally in the air, are happening or are just are, or, or, or not happening. All uh, the latest details on that and more. And as it impacts your wallet, stay with me as a day is far upon us. We're still continuing on top of the breaking news, your financial news. Stay up all right for more.